Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete, focus. No! Yes! All right. Of course. Should clear these guys out before I push forward. Okay, Pete. I'm hidden near the front. Give the word and I'll make a break for it. Will do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? Notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. Not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compared it to Pandora's box. Not much shook Fisk. Ooh. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. Hello, boys. Oh no! He punched my girl in the head. Stop! Hello. Hide. Not cool with the hostage taking guys. Whoa! What is up with that glowy stuff on your hands? Are you guys ghosts? Never fought a Ooh. ghost before. I mean, I fought specters, but you know, technically specters aren't ghosts. All ghosts are specters, but not all specters are ghosts. You know what I mean? Ow. Oh. Uh, seems like this is an energy thing, not a ghost thing. All good. Fight a ghost stays on the old bucket list. Oh, you got a big pokey stick. Cardio? Check. So we... Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You, you will not write a word of what you saw For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? That, I, I don't. What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? <laughs> Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Oh, boo-hoo. 
camera shy. Mix. <laughs> like the last six months never happened. <sighs> oh yeah. Boy's got himself a date. Why did Mix become Italian? I have no idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Hmm. Well... Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. Uh, as soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's how's it going with you? Did did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius's work will help millions. I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends? Oh. Is that what we are? Well, maybe we could be, you know, if, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's just a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too, like, uh, like money and uh, keys and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Oh, that's why. Siren. <laughs> Talk to you later. Go. Cool. I love seeing you two together again. This guy Boys were my favorites. Mr. Stan Lee. At the little cameo appearance. <laughs> What's with the units heading down third? Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker! Didn't he just get okay. paroled? Yeah, well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. Um, six. Oh, damn. Haha, <laughs> steampunk, you are, see ya. Try out. Try out this one. It's quite cool. The <laughs> hybrid. I uh, prefer fake plus enemies wave. Iron arms. Oh. These are pretty funky. Hmm. Boom. 
got it. Here I come, shocker. Hold up, hold up. Where? Where's my new seat? Why change seat? Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't own that seat. I this seat. Peter, I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grand Committee stops by again. Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep, please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. Yeah, not the biggest fan of this shiny armor suit. Hello, Shocker. Hi, Herman. Seriously? Yeah. Give it up. Bad You're boy. Never gonna catch me. That's what you said last time. I don't want to hurt you. You just slow me down. Wow, that's considerate. What's the money for, Herman? Conversation. I'm done talking. But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level. Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman. At least talk to me so we can make it interesting. Herman? What? The only answer to Shocker now? Mr. Shocker? Does he eventually stop? Come on, Shocker. Oh, 
Oh, come on. How close do I have to be to this guy? Here we go. Got you again. Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. He wasn't a very interesting boss, but he was a pain in the backside. I couldn't catch him. Good work, Spider Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Man. I don't... I don't like the suit, guys. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> Hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah. He was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that... Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Hmm. Basically just hung up on MJ, you know, as I got to the door, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna speak to Toy Koi. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. <laughs> Is everyone just doing the same thing over and over again? It's to play chess. Seems his office is upstairs. Director. Right, yeah. Peter! I do for you. I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let me see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? Uh, I don't know. Why take the risk? Hmm. Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. 
Hey, kid. How's all the science stuff going? Wish I could afford an electric wheelchair. What's next, Spidey? Where are we heading? And the way you didn't just step out as Spider-Man would be stupid, but <laughs> got some time <laughs> to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little Spidey work out in the city. Alright guys, then we're going to call it a session there, but hope you're enjoying this little playthrough of Spot Marvel Spider-Man. If you are, please like and subscribe, and if you've got something to say, put it in the comment section below, but I'll catch you guys next time. See ya! 10-10, witness